Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about the next generation, not the Star Trek next generation. I wanted to talk to you about the Warnings next generation plugin in Jenkins and how you can use it to see the results of tools like PMD, check style, and find bugs. If you want to use the Jenkins Next Generation Warnings plugin, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you've got Maven installed. So I'm just going to do a little Maven version here, see if it's installed and it's not. So sudo apt install Maven is what we're going to do. And of course, this might be a little different if you're on Windows, but that's how you get it installed over here on Ubuntu. Now, if you want to work with this Next Generation's Warning plugin, you have to install the plugin. So click on the Jenkins head, come over to manage Jenkins, click on manage plugins and take a look at what's available. Under available, you'll probably want to look for warnings. I always like to put a quotation in front of the word that I'm searching for, just seems to make it search a lot better. There's the warning next generation plugin. I'm going to click install without restart. You know what, sometimes this gives me a little bit of an issue. So I'm gonna try and install it. If it fails the first time, I'm just gonna go back and install it again. But look at this, it didn't fail, it installed right away. So life is good. Go back to the top of the page, and I'm gonna create a new Jenkins job that will take advantage of those reports. And as I do that, I just want to show you the code that I was going to inspect with check style and PMD and find bugs. It's just a very basic Spring Boot application that uses JPA and uses Timeleaf and it's the Spring IOC container in Spring Boot. So it's just sort of a full-fledged project there. And this is what I'm gonna pull and this is what I'm gonna compile and this is what I'm gonna inspect. Now in order to do that, you need that GitHub URL. So I just copy it from there. And then I come into my Jenkins job and say, hey, I'm gonna create a new item. I'm gonna call it the Warnings Next Generation Example. It'll be a freestyle project, but you can choose a, a Maven project or what other type of project you may have available to you. The options to use this plugin should come automatically. I'm gonna click on source code management here and I'm gonna be working with Git. Now, sometimes it takes a minute for Git to behave properly. There we go, behave. Still didn't expand the whole length of the page, but I'm not gonna to complain too much. And it's the master branch that I want to pull. There's the GitHub URL copied correctly into the repository URL spot. I'm gonna head over to the build section and what I want to do in the build is I want to do a couple of top level Maven targets. So I'll do a clean and install. That'll cause the code to get compiled and tested and packaged and everything that you want Maven to do. And the clean might be unnecessary, but I always type it in automatically. By the way, it's not actually good enough to do that. Now you actually have to sit, tell check style to run. So I have to say check style colon check style. And you have to have PMD to run. So I have to type in PMD colon PMD. And I also want find bugs to run. And so you have to write find bugs colon find bugs. Okay, so that's the key after you've got the basic Maven tasks in there. And then you add a post build step. And the post build step is to report on all of the interesting things that happened with check style and find bugs and the like. So you click add post build action and you should see this record compiler warnings and static analysis results. That's there because we installed the Jenkins warning next generation plugin. So I click on that and it tells me, hey, there's a bunch of different tools that it can integrate with. I want check style. So I say, hey, give me the check style report. And it says, okay, I can do that. Now you notice that I also had PMD in there. So I click add tool and I check and see if this will give a report for PMD. And there we go, boom, it's right in there. And what else did I have? I think I had find bugs too. So I'm gonna click add tool, see if my good friend find bugs is there. And wouldn't you know it, it is. And you know, you can just go all day looking for different scanners and static code analysis tools. Those are three free ones that I really, really like. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna click apply. I'm gonna click save and I'm gonna run this build.
Now, as you can see, the build was a success. Now, what else happens when I take a look at this build? Well, you'll notice that I've got some reports here. And one report is from CheckStyle, one report is from PMD, and one report is from FindBugs. I'll take a look at my CheckStyle warnings. Oh boy, it looks like that game summary class is a real problem. You can just click on here, take a look at the findings. You can take a look at the types of issues that arose. And you can see here, well, design for extension. You can see any issues that came up. And it looks like, uh, it looks like there's a line check length right there. And I can even click right onto the code and it'll tell me, hey, you know, this line here is longer than 80 characters. So you actually get, you know, a look right into your, your code, right to the line that's causing the offense. So that's a, a pretty cool plugin feature right there. You can even go into PMD, take a look at the warnings. Looks like uh, nothing too crazy here. Looks like I got some unused imports in the game service. So don't use list there. So it's some information that PMD is giving me. And then I can also take a look at the find bugs warning. Not too many here, but it thinks that I might have some malicious code. So we'll take a look here and you can see, oh yeah, this dot date equals date. Yeah, sometimes they don't like those uh, date objects because uh, uh, you can plug different information into it. And there you go. I mean, you can spend a lot of time going in that. It looks like uh, with all of my check style warnings, I might be spending a full afternoon working on those problems to fix them up. Does seem like there's a, a number of them there. But I do think that's pretty cool. So if you want to do some PMD, you want to find bugs, you want to check style, or you're using a variety of other static code analysis tools, just add in that next generation warnings plugin for Jenkins, and you'll get all of this information when your Jenkins builds run. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use the Jenkins next generation warnings plugin with PMD and check style and find bugs. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.